Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company. It is always great to see you and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I am super excited because today folks, it's a nice day. We're heading out to see if we can get into those Lake Erie Jumbo Perch. So I've got my T-Turn bait rig rigged up. It's the number 1A, the one for panfish. And I've got a short five and a half foot fishing rod that I'm gonna use today. And I'm gonna run live minnows. So the T-Turn bait rig comes with fluorocarbon line, allows the minnows to swim around freely, keeps me tangle free. So it's gonna do its job down there. I'm also running braided line, so I'm gonna have some sensitivity on the hook set. So that's gonna be the strategy today. Live bait, bait rigs down to the bottom, working for those perch. So we got just a bit of a ripple on the water as I get out from the marina here. Should be a perfect day. So glad you can join me. Stay tuned, folks. So off with the toque, on with the sun hat, and let's get into some perch, folks. Doesn't feel really big, but feels decent. And the first perch of the day, what do we got here? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's a decent perch right there, folks. That's a nice Lake Erie chunk right there. What you're looking at there, folks, is a lot, a lot of good eating right there. Okay, and he took my bottom bait. Okay, no problem. So we're gonna get him in the live well. So you can see the minnows I got here. We got some beautiful, lively minnows, right? Lots of lively minnows, so we have lots of bait. And the thing with these T-turn bait rigs, they allow those minnows to swim around, which I really like. And I mentioned I'm using braided line. I also have a fluorocarbon leader and of course the, the T-turn bait rigs, they come pre-tied with fluorocarbon, so we're good there. But you, you want that braided line for the sensitivity, you want to be able to feel the hits and because I'm fishing deeper water, um, you get a better hook set. So I'm in actually 61 feet of water right now, fishing the eastern basin of Lake Erie and uh, that was the first bite, he gave me a good bite, so I'm going to fish straight up and down. And if I don't get any bites, I'll kind of fan cast the area and just work my minnows back towards the boat because sometimes the perch are kind of hanging around and you can kind of draw them towards the boat. So, but right now we'll drop it straight down. I got a good, good sensitivity. I got a good feel and uh, see if I can get in another fish. That was the first drop, so it worked. Straight down worked again, folks. So there's some fish hanging around in the area. Let's see what we got here. Hopefully we got ourselves another nice perch. Okay, decent. Decent perch. It'll do. Let's put him in that pail. And that minnow's no worse for wear. Let's get another fresh minnow on there. Keep them lively. I got lots of bait, so you want to keep your bait lively if you've got it. If not, you can still use it if it's not lively. Just move your line around. And uh, trigger a hit. Okay, let's get that on and right back down there again. And again, I mentioned the braided line. Sometimes the hits are just subtle and you can load up and just feel it and then you can just set the hook with the braid. A lot of other times when they're aggressive, <laughs> you, you don't even, you don't need braid. But uh, when they're aggressive, the other advantage of the braid is more for the direct hook set. So I do like braid for those reasons, especially when I'm fishing deep and using live bait. Okay, I'm straight down there again. Let's see if we can trigger ourselves another bite. Yes, I got one. I was just going to say, I got one biting right now, folks. Oh, that was a good little bite. Okay. So, so far, I have not had to... Oh, this, we got a fighter here, folks. This might be a nice perch. We got a fighter. Wow. That one caught me by surprise. Oh, yeah, that's why, folks. <laughs> well, that's a lot of good eating right there, folks. Lake Erie perch are nothing short of spectacular eating. When you can lip lock a perch, you know you've got yourself a dandy right there. Okay. In fact, if you're interested, I got a couple of a uh, couple of great recipes for perch. I will put a link in the description below for you if you want to check them out because 
They're really, really good eating, I'll tell you that much. We actually have a lot of recipes on our channel if you're interested in cooking. There is a cooking section. Whoops. I'm too excited. I want to get my line back down there again because that was a nice jumbo. And usually, usually, not always, but where there's one, there's more because they like to hang out in packs, especially the perch. But they do move around, so get my line back down there real quick. Quick as I can, anyhow. Okay, that was a nice fish. Gave me a really good bite, too. I loved it. And that's what I mean with the braid. You can kind of load up on them a bit, you know? Okay. Got another one hanging around here. I might have to I might have to entice the bite, folks, and attract some other fish back here again. Okay, but that was that was a dandy, just a really, really nice perch. When he started fighting like that, it's like, okay, we got something here. Alright, I'll put the glasses back on. Helps with the reflection of the sun, protects your eyes, and away we go. Oh, what a what a bite. I don't know if we got that on camera, folks. What a bite. I was just lifting my rod up and I loaded it up and he whack, he hit it. Oh, I love that. I love it when you load the rod up like that. Oh boy, it's so much fun. Okay, you might not be catching big, huge salmon or anything, but you know what? Oh, look at that. Bottom hook again. Another tank. Another tank. Oops, he's coughing up. He's, oops, he coughed up a minnow, probably one of my other ones. What, I got my line all wrapped around me here? Oh, no. Okay, we need a time out, and our tank, our cameraman going to have to untangle me. It got me right in the back of the life jacket. Oh, no, I'm out. Okay, great. Okay. A little bit of excitement there, folks. Okay, so what I did the last time, I put two bigger minnows on um, and let them swim around to create a little bit of a, a ruckus down there and attract some, some fish. Now, I'm not marking anything on the screen, but I'm going to get my line right back down there again. Now, I'm hooking these minnows up. If you're interested, I've got a minnow. I show five different ways to effectively rig a minnow. I'll put that link in that, uh, I'll put a link in the description to that, in the description for that video for you, if you're interested in that. Okay, but that was nice. I just love that when I just kind of lifted it up, and, his, and then as it was kind of lifting, he just nailed it, and I loaded up on him. I love it. Okay, right back down we go. This is, like I say, it might not be salmon fishing, folks, but it's exciting. I love it. <laughs> oh, another nice bite. Oh my goodness, folks. I love it. The rod I'm using is, is a little bit strong. It's a medium power rod as opposed to a light, a light action. Only because I'm fishing a little bit deeper and I want to make sure I can get that hook set. Oh, and besides, folks. Oh. <laughs> Look at this chunk. Look at that chunk right there. <laughs> That's what Lake Erie fishing is all about, right there, folks. All right, in the box, another nice chunk. Let me get rigged up and right back out there again. Okay, I got my minnows rigged up. Let's get them right back down there again. Hopefully, there's another one hanging around. I get too excited, folks, too excited, because they're moving around. These fish are not, they're not staying, they're not holding. They're moving around. So you got to kind of, Make hay while the sun's shining here. Get the line right back down there again. All right, so I'm on the bottom. Oh, oh boy, I don't know if you saw that bite. I missed them. I have two minnows on there, lifted up. Oh my goodness, that was a good bite. Lift it up, drop it down, and it up, drop it down. Okay, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that fish took my bait. That was a good bite. I'm gonna say he took my bait. Not only did he take my bait, he took both my baits. <laughs> All right, let me get rigged up again. All right, let's try this again. That one hit as soon as I dropped it. I don't know how I missed it. It was like a really good hit. 
and obviously I lost both my minnows at the same time. So I could have had two biting at the same time. That would have been nice to get a double header. When you run a tandem rig like that, you got the opportunity of, of catching two at a time. Oh, there we go. I felt that hit right away again. And that's what I mean when they're, when they're here, you know, you got to take advantage, get your line down there because they move around just so quickly. This one doesn't feel as big, but oh well. It's a smaller fish, but coming out of that 60 feet relatively quick, put a fresh minnow on again. And freshen it up. Let's get it right back down there again. Get that down there again. If there's still some fish down there, I don't know. Let's see. But that one bit again, literally right away, as soon as they dropped it. And that's the thing too, they see it falling. It looked, you know, they see an injured minnow falling and it triggers hits. All right, but that other hit, wow. Like I say, probably two at a time. They just really hit hard. All right, so I'm down there again. I don't feel anything right now. Oh, wait a sec, load up on it, load, load up on it. Oh boy, folks. Oh my goodness, what is this? Folks, I'm not joking. What is this? Oh my goodness. Oh boy, what do we got here? It might be a double. In fact, that's why I like the tandem rigs. Oh, the bottom one is foul hooked. Foul hooked, he was biting, but hooked just underneath. So uh, I'll have to let him go because you can't keep a foul hooked fish. And it looks like he bolted down pretty quick, but there you go, isn't that nice? Look at that tank. That's, a, that's a, just a beauty. And that's the thing, you can catch two at a time when you're running a tandem rig, that's for sure. That's a nice perch, folks. All right, I'm gonna freshen back up and get right back down there again. Up, up. Loading up on that rod, folks. It's working for me today. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, you just can't beat it. I mean, using live bait, Antonio, that's his favorite. He loves it. I like using artificials, to be honest with you, but the live bait bite, oh, look at this, folks. There we go, a legitimate double header. <laughs> oh my goodness, and that's another reason why I love these rigs. They're convenient. That's their air bladder, see, coming up too quick. They're convenient, and you have the opportunity to catch two at a time. And it looks like the fish on the bottom seem to be bigger. I mean, that's just a real nice chunk right there. Isn't that a nice chunky fish? Beautiful, beautiful perch right there. So two fresh minnows. This is just too much fun, folks. And now I'm wrapped around the net. Yes, I brought the net because you never know, you might hook into a passing walleye or something, right? So, and these, these bait rigs, even though they're for perch and panfish, they can handle it. So I always bring the net because you never know here on Lake Erie what you're going to hook into. Let me see if I can get a bigger minnow. Oh yeah, there's a chunky minnow. Oh, I lost him. Let's get that minnow back. I think the seagulls are sensing the minnows. When I throw the old minnows out into the water, it's seagull bait. All right, let's get back down there again. Let it go down. Lift it up. Let it go down. It's set to hook. Oh my goodness, am I having a day. This one doesn't feel as big. Ah, that's a decent perch. Didn't feel that big, but that's decent. Took the bottom bait again. I seem to be getting more on the, on the bottom hook. The perch. Get him in. What do you think? I think I can put that bait down there again. Let's try. Let's put that one down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this bait over again. See if I can trigger another bite by just moving the moving the bait around. Because sometimes, folks, getting live bait. I mean, I have my fair share of minnows here today. But sometimes, when you have live bait, you don't have a lot of it. So you have to make the best of what you've got. And if the minnows have died on you or you have to reuse them a few times, that's okay. Just kind of, just just jiggle it and move it. Just move it around. And I got a little bit of waves here too. So between me just kind of 
I'm not going to say jigging it, but just kind of move it a bit. I want to see if I can trigger a hit with this bait. All right, I'm going to give it a... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I'm going to give it a few minutes. <laughs> but you see, you can, <laughs> you can trigger hits, folks. Because I know, like I say, sometimes coming up with bait is, is not an easy thing to do. You know what? This feels like another good fish. Holy folks. Look at this. On that minnow that was previously caught and chewed. <laughs> that's a nice perch. Oh, that's a nice perch. Okay. All right. Let's get it in there. I'm telling you, folks. Is there such thing as having too much fun? If there is, then I'm having it right now. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put a lively one on and get it right back down there again, no? Okay, back in. Lake Erie perch fishing, folks. I love it. I love it ice fishing, but I also love the open water bite. Especially when the bite is on, and like I say, they're they're few and far in between. But when they come around, you get you know you get some good bites. And sometimes you miss them. So let's see if I can trigger another bite. Just kind of oh, I like, like that. Sometimes you miss them, <laughs> like that one. Now, did they take both my baits? I gotta give it another another second or two. Let's do a lift and a drop. If I don't trigger a hit, because he's obviously still there, but do I have any bait? Alright, lift, drop. No more bites, so let's see. I think I just missed them. Can't catch them all, folks, right? Can't catch them all. See? I'm feeding them, right? I'm feeding the perch. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> this, this loading up on the rod, folks, it's really working for me today. And I, I think they think it's the minnow kind of getting away on them, you know? And it's, it's triggering those bites. Or let's say it's triggering a more aggressive bite. This, folks, this feels like another nice fish. Holy. Oh my, folks. Oh, this is a netter. Oh, I got him in. <laughs> Look at that perch. That's a perch, folks. Unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. You absolutely got to love that. What a day I'm having, folks, and I'm just starting. Look at that fish. You know what? This perch fishing, not only is it fun, not only are you putting great fish on the table, uh, table fare, they're great eating. But you know what, folks? It's so relaxing out here. If you're stressed, you had a busy week at work, do some perch fishing. Oh my goodness, you'll have yourself a great day and it's very, very relaxing. Wherever you're tuning in from, folks, I want to thank you for joining me in today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I'm excited, I got to get back out there. But until next time, good luck. Good fishing. Beauty, not a pain.